I'm going to stick with the state of Florida today, so I'm going to do the Florida Panthers and Tampa Bay Lightning. So they're both going to be up today. Um, so I'm going to start with the Florida Panthers offseason. So uh, I guess their offseason signings are Mar Marchesol, Marchesol, Xavier, Yandel, Demers, and Reimer. And they trade for Jerry McCann and uh, Physic. Uh, I think this McCann trade was a really good one from them because he could be a top six forward in the NHL. And Cabranson, uh, even though he's a good dependable defensive defenseman, he's definitely not going to put up very many points. 10 to 15 is going to be his range. 20 would be a really good year for him. So I think this was a great trade by them. So for the lines, I have Huberto, Barkov, and Yager. Jokinen, Bustad, and Smith. McCann, Trocek, and Sevier. Marcheso, Marcheso, uh, <laughs> McKenzie, and Shaw. Sorry for the pronunciation. And then defense, Yandel, Ekblad, which could be like one of the best defensive pairing in the league. Not for their defense, but for their offense, because uh, Ekblad could have a breakout year, and I think Yandel's going to be steady what he usually is. Not the greatest defensive line, but pretty good offensive. Petrovic, Demers, and Kendall and Fizik, or Pizik, whichever you want to say. Then in net, uh, Longo, I don't think it's going to be ready for the start of the season. So I have Reimer and Barra, but obviously if Longo is ready, it's going to be Longo and Reimer. But I think to begin with, because he won't be ready, will be Reimer and Barra. And Reimer is going to get most of the games while Longo's out, so he should fare pretty well. He did pretty good at, in Toronto with a really bad defense course. So. And he played really well in San Jose, so it just proves that he can play a good a, behind a good defense core. So as for points, I have uh, Barkov 69, Yager 64. I wanted to put lower for him, just because one of these years he's going to slow down. It's just it's kind of remarkable what he's doing in the NHL right now, but I, I can't say less than 60 because he's just proved that he's able to produce at a really old age considering he's he wants to play till he's 50 which is remarkable. Uh, Huberto at 65, Bustad at 48 and McCann at 30 and then Yandel at 48 and Ekblad at 50. I got a pretty big jump for Ekblad because I think he had like 32 points. 32 to 38 I think. Guaranteed that range. I'm pretty sure 32, but uh, don't quote me on that. So just like, uh, comment, and subscribe, and just comment like what videos you might want me to do in the future. I might do uh, a Blue Jays video if they do any trades today, I'll, but I'm not sure about that. Have a nice day.